Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. So today I thought I'd do a movie memorabilia video, take you back to 1977 and the year of Star Wars. Uh, and this right here is a poster magazine that I was able to buy when I was just a little kid. Uh, get it in WH Smith's, price 40 pence. Um, and this opens out to be a poster inside here of Darth Vader with stormtroopers. Nice little picture on the back here as well of a lovely lady who's got a chewy t-shirt. Wouldn't you like to wear that? <laughs> so yeah, back when I was a little kid, you could go into the likes of WH Smith's and Woolworth's in the UK and buy these Topps trading cards. Uh, so basically these were cards that came with like a stick of gum uh, in a packet and then about five different cards and then you try and collect a set if you could. And there were a number of different sets that came out. I think the blue set was the first one and then there was a red, a yellow, a green and an orange set. Um, now, nowadays, uh, collectors uh, will look at some of these cards and, for instance, this number one card here of Luke Skywalker, if this was in a pristine condition, um, it can go for quite a bit of money. Um, but I'm not really here to sort of go into sort of values too much on cards. I mean, this for me is just a bit of a fun thing to have collected when I was a kid. Uh, I've kept them over the years, probably not perhaps in the greatest of conditions. So um, serious collectors will no doubt be looking at this video and looking at my oily fingers all over the cards and uh, creases and things like that and bemoaning their condition. So I apologize if you don't like the condition, but uh, yeah, hopefully for anybody else, um, this might just be a little bit of entertainment just to show you what these cards were like. Um, so yeah, I'll just run through these. I do also have uh, Superman trading cards uh, and just a few of uh, Disney's The Black Hole as well. So maybe I'll show those in, a, in another video. But uh, yeah, here we have Luke Skywalker, number one. Alec Guinness. Peter Cushing. So of course the difficult thing with buying these cards is that you didn't know which ones were going to be inside and so obviously that's the whole point in which you're then might be getting duplicates of some cards and then uh, looking to swap and trade with your friends. And then the backs of the cards, some of them would have uh, facts or story summaries on them and others would have um, a section of a picture. So you'd put some of these cards together to make the whole picture. There's some of the Death Star. Great one of Han Solo there. I like this one of them all in the cockpit. I think this one in a mint condition probably goes for quite a bit of value. Who can that be? As you can see, all of these images are really quite iconic. just an example of one of the story summaries. And there you can see an example of uh, a different edging. So that edge there is really quite thin compared to the other edge. And I think that 
uh, is also a factor in some of the value of these cards and depends on how they're cut um, and how pristine they are that affects their value. So I don't quite have the full uh, 66 of the blue set, uh, but I think I've got about 60 of them. Um, but uh, yeah, so just a few missing there. So that's my most complete set, the blue set. Now I do also have some of the red cards, uh, not so many of these, and I think I must have traded these with somebody else because uh, a lot of these are a bit dog-eared, so particularly this one. Look at the mess that that one's in, very creased. And I think uh, maybe whoever I got this from had a dog or something, I can't remember. But uh, yeah, I certainly didn't rip these. Here we go again, Fido's been at that one. Lovely Princess Leia. Now I, I certainly remember when I was collecting these cards one day I was in uh, WH Smith's and uh, just rummaging through all the cards and I actually picked up the whole box um, and as I was holding the box um, I realized I recognized outside the store my neighbor was walking by and I was so eager to go and say hello to my neighbor that I actually just ran out of the store holding this whole box of Tops trading cards and I just walked up the hill with my neighbor chatting away and then realized at the end of our conversation that I was still holding this box and I had to then uh, just go back to WH Smith's and um, buy the ones that I wanted so I was very honest I didn't just take them but uh, yeah it was quite funny and then here I have some uh, yellow cards as well. And these ones in a way are the most precious to me, I suppose. Um, now the yellow cards were not available at the time in the UK, uh, as I recall. I think I could just get the blue and the um, red set. But um, for me, as a, in my primary school years, we had a teacher that came over from the States and she was a wonderful person because she brought with her all these yellow uh, trading cards that she just gave out to everybody in the class. Uh, and not only that, but she also would play the acoustic guitar at the front of the class as well. So we didn't really have anybody else quite like that. So she was a terrific teacher. We all loved her. But yeah, obviously the thing with the yellow cards is while she was very generous in giving us a few of these packs, um, it also meant that we couldn't then just get the rest of the yellow set to try and complete our collections. I, but I really don't remember, probably the yellows, um, the greens and the oranges, maybe they came out later on, but uh, I guess I stopped collecting by then um, or had swallowed enough bubble gum by that stage. Anyway, so there you go. That's just to give a taster of uh, these Topps trading cards. Um, hopefully, if you weren't familiar with those, then uh, they were fun to see. Um, if you are a serious collector, then like I say, sorry if I'm not handling these correctly or if uh, it makes you cringe that they looked a bit creased. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments uh, how familiar you are with these cards, whether you have any yourself or whether you're a collector or a seller, a buyer, uh, all that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, hopefully I will see you again for some more movie related videos and I'll show you some more movie memorabilia. Okay, all the best to you. Thanks for joining me on this one. Bye-bye.